Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about regular expressions in Java. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me define what is a regular expression. A regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a such pattern. So a regular expression is a sequence of characters is a sequence of characters that forms a search pattern so what you are actually doing is that you are creating a search pattern and the search pattern is available in the string or not you can verify like i can give various search patterns like is the uh, string starting with s or ending with h the second character should be S, the second character should be A and it should consist of four digits. All these kind of search patterns you can generate and then you can verify is the string is matching or not. And a regular expression can be a single character or a more complicated pattern. So a regular expression can be a single character or a more complicated pattern let me define one simple example let me give the pattern a b c like this now what i am verifying is is my string consists of a or b or c like this you can do okay is your string consists of a or b or c if it is so, then it will return true, else it will return false. Similarly, you can generate the pattern like this. Okay, not A, B, C. Then your string should not consist of, should not consist of A or B or C. Like this, you can create various such patterns. Regular expression can be used to perform all type of test switch and test replacement operations now the problem with the java is java does not have built-in regular expression class but we can import java.util.reg ex package to work with regular expression so java does not support any regular expression class however you have a package called java.util.reg package now in this package you have pattern class and matcher class what is this pattern class will do is that it will defines a pattern to be used in search whereas the matcher class is used to search for the pattern because two things you need to do one is that you need to define the pattern and then you need to perform the searching operation so you can define the pattern with the help of pattern class so the pattern class defines a pattern okay which is used to search okay to be used in search whereas the matcher class okay the matcher class use it to search for the pattern as i said earlier we need two important tasks one is we need to define the pattern we need to define the pattern and then we need to perform the matching operation now you can ask me sir how can we define a pattern okay we need to create an object for the pattern class let me create the object as p then i will write pattern dot okay we have a method called compile method okay inside this compile method you need to provide the search pattern okay suppose if i am providing like this okay within double quotes if i am writing a b c so what is my pattern here either a or b or c okay now let me discuss how can we perform the matching operations perform the matching operation because as i said earlier we have two important things one is that we need to define the pattern and then we need to perform the matching operation then we have the matcher okay what it will do is that it will 
set the pattern in a particular string so let me define a string first okay let me use the string class and let me write something like pernica tutorials okay let me give pernica space tutorials let me end with semicolon then i will give the yes now whatever the pattern we have defined is it there in the string s or not you are verifying okay so these are the basics about the regular expression even we have in another class called exception class which is pattern syntax exception class indicate syntax error in a regular expression pattern so we have already discussed the pattern class and matcher class and even you have one more class in the reg ex package okay what is that one is pattern okay syntax exception okay pattern syntax exception class what it will do is that it indicates syntax error syntax error in a regular expression pattern if there is any error in the pattern then this exception will be raised what is this one pattern syntax exception where p should be capital letter s should be capital letter and e should be in capital letter okay now let me discuss how can we define the various patterns okay look at the first one here okay look at this one as i said earlier if you provide the braces a b c again close the braces then it is very simple one either a or b or c character the description is if you say not a b c any character except a or b or c if you say a to z then capital a to z the meaning is that a to z any means from small a to small z any character and then capital a to capital z any character okay this is the meaning because capital a to z small a to z so it is small a to small z any character or capital a to capital z any character so it specifies the range if you want to use the union then you can write like this a to d this is the range okay now again you are opening the braces let me zoom little bit i hope it is clear now for you then again you are opening the braces m to p okay so what is the meaning a to d or m to p so that is what the meaning a to d union m to p so it will not allow any character from e to like before m what will be k l m right so e to l it will not allow then q to z it will not allow then if you want to use the intersection then you can use like this a to z intersection and and then you can write here d e f so from a to z you have d e f okay here also you are providing d e f so it is an intersection okay what is this range you have provided and this range so what are the common intersection that should be there so here d e f only okay and then you can write a to z and negation of b c so then what is the meaning a to z except b and c so it is nothing but a d okay to z okay is it clear a to z except b and c so then you have a d and then up to z a d because b and c you cannot include so that is what we'll say subtraction and another one is that a to z and negation of p minus 1 then meaning is that a to z but not m to p okay so like this we have various classes we'll discuss one by one now let me use this one and let me write a simple program so i will go to the desktop open the java programs and let me click on the new text document and let me write reg demo dot java let me open with notepad plus plus now first what i need to do i need to import the package so i need to write import java dot util dot reg ex then start 
okay so i have imported now let me write the class okay class and what is the class name here rez demo because the file name is rez demo dot java then what i need to write i need to write public static void main string args okay let me open the curly braces now first what i need to do i need to define the pattern how can i define the pattern i need to create an object for the pattern class so pattern p is equal to pattern dot compile method okay then i'm providing like this what is that i'm providing p a k then what is the meaning my string should consist of either p or a or k okay now let me define my string okay i'm creating an object for the string class and here i'm providing pernica tutorials okay let me end with the semicolon then what i need to do i need to create an object for my matcher class okay matcher m is equal to p where what is the p here p is an object for the pattern class then i have a method called matcher method okay its spelling is mistake okay matcher method and i need to provide the string and then i need to write system dot out dot print ln we have various methods okay one is the matches method and another one is the find method what the find method will do let me discuss it for you we have a method called find method it attempts to it attempts to find the next subsequence next subsequence of the spelling mistake here i'm really sorry next subsequence of the input let me write here of the input sequence that matches the pattern that matches the pattern so what exactly it is doing is that whatever the search pattern you are giving if it is there in any of the subsequence then it will give the true otherwise it will return the false now let me use this method okay i need to use the object which is created for the matcher class and then i need to use the method okay so now let me end with the semicolon now look at here first check here p is there what we are saying either p or a or k so you got the p then it will stop searching the subsequence and it will say it has written the true so because the character p is available so it will return the output as true if you want to verify let me close the main method and the class method let me save this program go to the command prompt and let me compile the program you know that all our programs will be there in the desktop java programs cd desktop and then cd java programs and now let me compile the program by giving the command as java c file name as reg demo dot java there are no issues let me run the program java reg demo see as i said earlier we got the output as true and now we have another method called find okay but here you can provide a integer what this method will do is that if you want to start your searching from a specified index then you can use this integer so what it will do starting at the specified index okay it will start searching here what the find method it will do it will start searching from the zeroth index but if you provide any particular integer from that specified index only it will search for the pattern so starting at the specified index so let me give here okay so what i will do i will copy let me copy this one and paste it here now i will provide some index as 4 okay from fourth index okay here zeroth index p is there first index a is there second index r is there third index n is there from i i is not matching k is matching so then it will return the true for you okay let me save this program and let me compile the program 
there is no issues let me run the program as i said earlier we got the output as true okay and similarly you have another method called start method what the start method will do let me discuss it for you it returns the start index of the previous successful match okay it returns it returns the start index of the previous match previous successful match if it is not successful it will raise an exception now we are saying that either p or a or k is there in the string called pernica tutorials now where it was first match has occurred okay like if you see at the zeroth index itself it was successful so you want to find from which index it was successful then you can use the start method let me write here system dot out dot print ln and then i can use the method called start okay similarly here also it was successful let me write here okay the index is let me write the index is okay let me use the concatenation and here also i will use the concatenation the index is okay then i will use the method let me save this program and let me compile the program and let me run the program now you can see as i said earlier p it was successful where the p is there at zeroth index so that's why you got the output as the index is zero similarly what i said you need to start from the fourth index the fourth index is what i okay at fifth index k is there there it was successful that's why you got the output as the index is 5 i hope you have understood the find method and start method now let me discuss about one more method called matches method okay let me discuss that method called matches it attempts to match the entire region against the pattern okay what it will do it will attempts to match the entire region entire region against the pattern against the pattern what is this one look here instead of find i will use the method called matches or let me write here okay let me copy this one and let me paste it here okay so here i am using the method called matches let me save this one and let me compile the program once i compile this one you will understand two two things what are they you will understand here okay see as i said earlier if there is no successful look at here here what i said start returns the start index of the previous successful match meaning is that the starting index when we used the find method the pattern was matching at the zeroth index itself so then if you use the start method it was returning zero but where you have used the start method now after the matches the matches method has returned the false if the previous where whatever the search you have done was success unsuccessful that's why it was risen an exception so the matches method has returned the output as false so that's why the start method has given an exception called java dot lang illegal state exception no match available now you can ask me sir why the matches method was false here what we are saying either p or a or k but you have other characters also what it is doing it attempts to match the entire region against the pattern okay look at here suppose if i give it as p a r okay suppose look at here if i return the string as p then you can see what will happen the find method and then matches method let me compile the program and now let me run the program see here it is true true the index is zero but why this one has given an error 
find for your string has only one index zero so it is out of bounds so here the exception has raised okay let me close this one and let me uncomment this one or what i can say i have commented that one not uncomment i have commented okay in java you can do the comment like this now let me compile the program and now let me run the program see in this case the find method has written the output as true and matches method also written the output as true as the previous search is successful so that's why the start method also given the index which is zero okay look why it has given the true in both the find method and matches method here the p is there okay you want to search whether p a or r okay so p is there so there itself the find method will stop and it will say true it will not search for the remaining characters however in the string remaining characters are not there the matches method either you should have a string either p or a or r okay so p is there that is successful now let me give p a what the find method and matches method will do look at here okay java c r e g demo dot java now java look at here true false what you are saying either p or a but you have both p and a that's why the matches method has given the output as false what it is doing attempts to match the entire reason against the pattern what you are saying either p or a or r but you have both p and a now let me keep only a then find method and matches method will return the output as true if you want to verify let me compile the program and let me run the program see both the find method and matches method has given the output as true for you okay now we will use the negation then you will understand other things also let me give the string as pernica tutorials okay then i will use the find method and then i will use the matches method and i want to find the start index okay then let me compile the program again i'm telling the find method will return the output as true whereas the matches method will return the output as false let me compile the program and let me run the program see as i said earlier the find method has written the output as true however the matches method has written the false as the previous search operation is false the start method has raised the exception okay now you can ask me sir why the find method has given the output as true what you are saying neither p nor a nor r okay see here it is okay p should not be there it is not there a should not be there it is it is there okay so that's why it was not successful r okay it should not be there okay it is there but n okay what you are saying p a r should not be there here n is not matching with p not matching with a not matching with r so here the search was successful if you have a doubt let me comment this one okay whereas the matches method you have p a r okay but n okay sorry p should not be there but p is there because what you are saying negation of p a r p is there so that's why it will stop doing okay if you want to verify as i have commented the matches method after that i have used the start method as the find method has written the output as true what the start method will return what which integer it will return you can verify 0 1 2 3 i expect that it will return the output as third index if you want to verify let me compile the program and let me run the program as i discussed earlier this index is 3 so there the successful search was happened i hope you have understood the find method start method matches method even we have discussed other things also a to z capital a to z okay let me use them also what you need to do here a to z okay any character should be there so in that case what the find method will do let me verify it for you let me compile the program and let me run the program see 
the find method has written the output as true the index method has so sorry the start method is written the index as zero because a to z p is there p is in between a to z so here itself it is successful so that's why the find method has written the output as true and the start has given the index as zero however the matches method will return the output as false if you want to verify let me cut here and let me paste after the start method now look at here let me compile the program okay let me run the program now see the matches method has written the output as false what you are saying a to z okay any one character should be there but you have p a r all these things are there suppose if i give simply t then both the find method matches method will return the output as true if you want to verify let me compile the program and let me run the program see as i said earlier the find method and matches method has written the output as true okay suppose if i provide capital t then what will happen the find method and matches method should return the output as false okay let me comment this dot one because once it is not successful it will raise an exception if there is an exception the remaining statements will not run okay let me compile the program and let me run the program see the find method and matches method has given the output as false because you are saying small a to small z but capital t is there so that's why find method could not able to find the successful one okay is it clear whereas the matches method only one character should be there yes it is there but it should be character from small a to small z but you have a capital t so that's why the matches method also written the output as false okay now you have like a to d okay union m to p like that you can use okay look at here a to d again open the braces m to p okay now let me use e okay then find method and matches method should return the output as false look at here okay let me compile the program and now let me run the program what is that error we are getting m to p and we should close this one also right we did not close let me save the program and let me compile the program and let me run the program see both has given the output as false why you are saying a to d union m to p then ish is not available because you are saying a to d means a b c d then m n o p remaining character should not be there so e is not in this range so that's why find method and matches method has written the output as false for you okay let me discuss the next one what is that a to z and def like that you want to use the intersection so what i will do a to d and okay let me give here b c then you should have b c then it will be successful suppose let's take that i'm using b then find method and matches method will return the output as true for you let me save the program and let me compile the program and let me run the program see both has given the output as true why you are saying a to d intersection b c so what is common here b c so your string should have b or c am i right is it clear so b is there that's why the find method has given the output as true matches method also written the output as false oh sorry true i'm really sorry now i'm giving bc in that case find method will return the output as true but the matches method will return the output as false if you want to verify let me compile the program let me run the program see your find method has written the output as true false method has written the sorry every time i am saying this one matches method has written the false okay so why why this issue is actually happening okay so you have given the string consists of two characters b c so what you are saying either b or c so b is there okay so the sequence is b is there 
So that's why find method has given the output as true. But matches method should have only one character. That character should be either B or C, but you have both. So you have a string of two characters that is not allowed. So that's why matches method will give the output as false for you. Okay. Similarly, you can use the other patterns A to Z. Okay means a particular range and a negation like this you can use the subtraction also now let me discuss the other regular expressions like you can use something then question mark then what is the meaning is that x occurs once or not at all meaning is that suppose a particular thing you have given okay what is that particular thing anything you can give or first let me discuss this one this will be better if i discuss this one after this if i discuss then it will be more clear for you okay now you have a single dot means any character means suppose let's say that you want to say second character should be n then first character can be anything then you can use dot then n like that dot means any character of single length then you have slash d meaning is that any digit from 0 to 9 either you can provide slash small d or you can give the range 0 to 9 any digit that is what okay within the braces you can give okay and then slash capital d any non digit it is like negation of 0 to 9 and then slash yes any white space character okay is it clear so like you can use the backslash t backslash n like that you can provide then slash capital s meaning is that negation of white space character that is nothing but any non white space character see if you are using small letters it is like any digit any white space if you are using the capital one suppose let's take that here here you use the capital d then it is like negation of small d again you have used the capital s which is negation of small s then you have slash w any word character meaning is that either it can be small a to small z capital a to capital z 0 to 9 if you are using the slash capital W. It is nothing but any non-word character which is nothing but negation of slash small w. Now let me discuss all these things practically. Okay. Now let me write here slash slash d. Okay. Now what I am doing any single digit. Suppose let me write here one then what the find method and what the matches method will return we will see let me compile the program now let me run the program both will return the output as true because what you are saying any single digit 0 to 9 you have one so find method is true and only one single character is uh, sorry digit is there which is in the range from 0 to 9 so that's why matches method is also written the output as true suppose if i provide 1 2 3 then find method will return the output as true matches method will return the output as false if you want to verify let me compile the program and let me run the program see as i said earlier the find method has written the output as true matches method has written the output as false okay what i will do is that let me remove all these things okay so that it will be no confusion let me discuss one more thing what you are saying slash capital d okay see here you need to use another slash also whenever you are using the slash characters if you does not use what will happen you can verify let me compile the program now you are getting in an error okay so illegal escape character to avoid that one you need to provide extra one okay let me provide capital d what it is says any non digit any non digit means let me provide here a a is a non digit am i right it is a character which is not in the range from 0 to 9 then find method will return the output as true and matches method also will return the output as true if you want to verify let me compile the program let me run the program see both the methods have given the output as true suppose if i use a b c then find method will return the output as true but the matches method will return the output as false because 
it should be single one but you have three characters so that's why the matches method will return the output as false for you let me compile the program and run it so the find method has written the output as true however the matches method has written the output as false similarly if you want to use like uh, any white space then you can use okay small s then simply i will provide like this white space only so i have double quotes white space and double quote so my string consists of only white space then find method and matches method what it will return we will verify both should return the output as true why because what you are saying white space should be there so find method has got the white space okay then it is true matches method what it is saying only one character should be there and also it should be white space yes you have a one character is there and it is also white space then matches method has written the output as true suppose if i am providing space bc then find method will return the output as true matches method will return the output as false okay let me compile the program and let me run the program see as i said earlier find method has written the output as true matches method has written the output as false okay now we will discuss this one okay what we are saying some x question mark that x occurs once or not at all okay meaning is that at most once okay suppose you have given backslash d question mark a desert can occur either once or not at all okay however you can use x plus at least once okay once or more times at least once then star if you are using that x occurs zero or more times then if you are providing x within the curly braces n that x occurs n times only okay then x within the curly braces n comma the meaning is that x occurs n times or more times then if you provide x within the curly braces y to z then x occurs at least y times but not more than z times but less than z times is it clear all these things we will discuss practically with one one example okay so what we will provide the question mark then what is the meaning the desert should occurs at most once because zero one or zero is it clear if you want to verify you can verify that x occurs once or not at all is it clear meaning is that at most once okay let me provide space okay in that case what will happen the find method will return the output as true what the matches method will do let me verify find method has written the output as true but this one has given the false why zero or more times but you have a white space that's why it is not allowed suppose if i given one okay then you have a digit okay which is either once or not at all okay then one time you got am i right so then find method and matches method should return the output as true for you let me verify both has written the output as true because what it is saying a digit from 0 to 9 should occurs once or not at all okay suppose if i have given a b c then what the find method will return it will return the true but the for matches method will return the output as false if you want to verify let me compile the program and let me run the program as i said earlier the find method has written the output as true matches method has written the false why the find method has given the output as true what you are saying a digit from 0 to 9 either should occur once or not at all in abc no digit is there so that's why it has given the output as true but what the matches method is saying matches method method should find exact pattern okay only one length string should be there but you have three length string is there that's why it is not giving the true for you okay suppose if i am using star then what it is what is the meaning look at here any digit okay zero or more times 
okay look at here in this scenario the find method will return the output as true what about the matches method let me compile the program and let me run the program both has written the output as true for you zero or more times okay is it clear zero or more times more times are there right one two three here also one two three so that's why both has written the output as true for you if i use the plus then what is the meaning okay at least once see digits are at least once are there there are three times are there so then in that case what will happen you can verify let me compile the program and let me run the program both has given the output as true for you similarly if you want to use n number of times okay the digit if i provide four times okay look at here one two three four five then find method will return the output as true matches method will return the output as false why it is look at here let me run the program see why it is it is saying four times then four digits should be there one two three four five so the find method has got the pattern one two three four four digits should be there from zero to nine so that's why it is successful but what the matches method is saying the four digits should be there and the length also should be four but here you have five so that's why it is not successful similarly if you see i have provided a b one two three four c then let me run it why the matches method has given the output as false four digits should be there but you have a b and c also there so that's why it is giving the output as false for you suppose if i have provided the comma then what is the meaning okay let me provide one two three four five what is the comma is saying the comma is saying that n or more times so four or more times one two three four is more than four times that is allowed so then in that case find method and matches method should return the output as true for you let me compile and run the program both has written the output as true for you if i say four to seven four times okay is it clear look at here at least y times but not more than z times so at least four times yes one two three four five is allowed okay and it is not more than seven then both the methods what it will return look at here let me compile the program and let me run the program both has written the output true for you okay suppose if i use one two three four five six seven eight nine then what will happen obviously the matches method will return the output as false for you however the find method will return the output as true because it will search for the subsequence at least four times yes one two three four is there okay four or more okay the subsequence is there up to seven okay one two three four five six seven it is fine so that's why it will search for the subsequence and it will return the true but the matches method will return the output as false for you okay if you want to search for a beginning of a line end of the line all these things also we can do how to do it let me discuss it with you all you can use this symbol okay you can use this symbol i hope it is visible let me zoom little bit for you okay to say that the beginning of a line the beginning of a line something if you want say that it should be the beginning of the line then you can use this one and a particular one similarly if you want to say end then you can use the dollar symbol the dollar symbol specifies that the end of a line okay is it clear now let me discuss with a simple thing okay let me write the program what i want to do here is that i want to say that starting starting okay and then dot means any character it can start second character should be a and then anything can come later okay small w star okay then if i'm providing pernica tutorials what will happen you can verify pernica tutorials okay it can start with any character yeah 
first character can be anything but the second character should be a so the find method has got that one so it has written the output as true what about the matches method we will verify let me compile and run the program okay it has given the output as true the find method but however the matches method has given the false for you now you want to say that from starting to end 10 digits should be there then what you can use the first this one to stay that beginning of the line and then double slash d 10 times so 10 digits should be there and then you need to provide the ending for ending you need to use the dollar symbol then look at here what will happen if i'm providing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 okay then 10 digits are there it should start with the and end one okay so then both the find method and matches method should return the output as true for you if you want to verify let me compile and run the program both has given the output as true for you suppose in between i'm giving a b then what will happen we can verify both has given the false okay starting to end 10 digits only should be there but you are providing a b that is not allowed okay similarly you want to say that end with uh, yes okay then you can look at here what i want to do starting any words any number of times can come but it should end with yes okay oh i'm giving the pattern in the string let me give in the compile method i'm really sorry these mistakes it will happen okay look at here what i'm saying it should start with any word any number of times zero or more times but it should end with yes okay let me give the dollar now let me write here pernika tutorials okay let me save pernika tutorials is ending with yes yes correct so that's why it should return the output as true for you find method has given the output as true why the one is giving false the entire one should be matching so that's why it is not matching so it will return the output as false for you okay similarly you can say that the words should be at least once okay and then it should because what you are saying even it should start with yes it will allow because zero or more but here at least once then what will the find method and matches method will do look at here find method has written the output as true matches method has written the output as false for you if you want to verify the uh, email id like that then you can use okay what email id email id generally the pattern is what let me write here okay pernika tutorials let me write here pernika tutorials at the rate gmail.com then what it is the first is character should be there okay zero not zero more one more than one character should be there and then you should have at the rate then again a character should be there and then you should have a dot and then you should have the again the characters okay so this is the way you can verify the email id then look at here okay here i need to use the plus and then i need to use at the rate and then i need to use double slash w then i need to use the plus at least one character should be there and then you should have a slash dot and then slash slash w plus should be there okay we'll verify what it will happen okay i'm providing the email address as pernika tutorials at the rate gmail.com let me compile the program and verify what will happen java c okay what is the issue illegal escape character let me provide only dot what will happen look at here let me compile the program and let me run the program both has given the output as true okay because pernika tutorials at the red gmail.com is following this one suppose if i provide one two three then what will happen you can verify pernika tutorials at one two three at the red gmail.com 
both has written the output as true for you okay this is the way you can verify the whether the email id the user has entered is correct or wrong okay then we can use the matches method directly like this also okay what i will do look at here instead of defining a pattern okay then you are providing a string then you are verifying the matches or not simply you can write boolean some result is equal to pattern dot matches method okay then provide the pattern and then you can provide the string okay let me provide the pattern is either a or b or c then let me provide the string as a b c okay then look at here what it will return let me print the result system dot out dot print ln okay result if it is true if the true will be printed if it returns false the false will be printed as an output let me compile the program there is no issues let me run the program you got the output as false because only one character should be there a b c but you have three characters so that's why it is written the false if i provide only single character then what will happen let me compile and verify the program see you got the output as true so like this also you can define the pattern and you can provide the string I hope you have understood about the regular expressions. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.